Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. Now I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to post this news, share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Some residents in the southeast and south south have explained that there has been an improvement in security in these regions since the launch of the Eastern Security Network. A series of videos posted weekly on social media shows the significant and shows the significant success and improvements the vigilante group operatives have carried out during their patrol in the bushes and forests of the region. In Enugu, some residents who spoke in an interview rated the security team high, adding that they now go to their farms without fear of being raped, mutilated, or killed by Fulani headsmen. One of those who spoke to reporters is Mrs. Neka Aku, a widow. She said, I am a farmer. I have three children. I used to take such good care of these children since my husband died. Life became hell after the Fulani people started chasing us off our farms and killing people here in our village. But now that we have the Eastern Security Network, I have been going to my farm peacefully without facing any problems. Since the Eastern Security Network came along, the Fulani headsmen have not terrorized us here again in our community. Uche Naogu said in an interview, Mrs. Uchechi Okoro said, I have been going to my farm since November last year after the launch of this insurance without fear and we haven't seen the Fulani headsmen who always come to chase us away from our farms. This is a good report if you ask me because not just in Enugu state some other parts of the southeastern state also have always have sorry have spoken well of the eastern security network activity in the southeast and the communities in the villages. This, to a very large extent, is co co commendable as um, farmers and peasants can now go to their farms and carry out their farming activities to take care of themselves without the fear of Fulani headmen chasing them away or um, attacking them, killing, raping, maiming, and destruction of their farm produce as it used to be the custom. Well, it is what it is. Thanks and kudos to the Eastern Security Network of uh, the IPOP launched by Nam de Kano. But also, it has been reported that the Southeast governors are also planning to launch a vigilante group that will be patrolling the whole of the Southeast. According to them, it's said to be a uniform uh, vigilante group who will have the same uniform across the whole Southeastern states and have the same patrol vehicle all through the southeastern states to be carrying out patrol activities on uh, the southeast region. Well, it is what it is. Be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? In another report, the Eastern Security Network just days ago squared up with the Nigerian police. Both security forces opened fire at each other lately on Friday. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazenam Dekano, had confirmed the occurrence via his official Facebook page. In his words, he asserted, Zoo people should tell the Inspector General of Police, Hope Uzadema, and any other foolish governor in the East daft enough to send security forces 
in search of the Eastern Security Network. That they too will meet a similar fate or even worse. Next time, they should come with that derelict attack helicopter they borrowed from Pakistan or better, a fighter jet. Only then shall we prove to them how prepared the Eastern Security Network is. This is a mere appetizer. I am sure the main course will be served soon. Anything found in the bush is bushmeat, said Namdekano on that particular incident. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning the activities of uh, Namdekano and the Eastern Security Network? We know to a very large extent that these guys, you know, are well doing well and are doing good, at least carrying out what the people want. But the only challenge is that the government is against their activities. The government is against all their uh, their duties, as it were, as they are not legally supported or backed by the government. And what is the implication of this? The implication means that the group remains illegal as far as the government is concerned. But Namdekano is not deterred by this. Rather, he has continued to enforce and uh, carry out, uh, encourage Eastern Security Network guys to carry out their duties of protecting the Eastern Biafra land as it were against terrorists and uh, marauders and uh, you know, headsmen that have prevented farmers from going to their farms. And to a very large extent, you will agree that it has produced results. But however, the main question that continues to uh, linger in the hearts of people is, oh, how long will this alteration between the uh, Eastern Security Network personnel and the government continue? Because from the look of things, the government does not seem to be interested in recognizing the Eastern Security Network. Although they are carrying out their activities, they are carrying out their duties, they are carrying out um, uh, thorough searching and uh, uh, securing the Eastern Security Network, sorry, the uh, Biafra land as it were, and uh, the people of the Southeast are appreciative of the activities and they have even rated the Eastern Security Network high. But the challenge remains for how long will they continue without the backing of the government? And now that the government is searching for the camp of the Eastern Security Network across the Southeast Forest, the question remains, what will happen when they are eventually located? It, the truth remains that it might take a while, it might take time, but the government will definitely uh, discover the location of the Eastern Security Network as far as they are in operating in Nigeria or in any forest in Nigeria. But the question remains for how long it remains how long will it take uh, the Eastern the government to locate the camp of the Eastern Security Network? That is one. Then two, what will happen when they are discovered? Just like Anna Bekano has learned that anything found in the bush is bush meat, meaning that there's going to be alteration between the security agents and the Eastern Security Network. This is just uh, postponing doomsday, if you ask me since they are bent on engaging each other. But however, it remains to be seen. Is the security, the Eastern Security Network powerful than the Nigerian army? Is another question that we need to ask ourselves. We all know how sophisticated, we all know how, um, you know, well uh, equipped to a very large extent the Nigerian army are. So since it's a joint team between the Nigerian army and uh, the Nigerian police, well, it is expected that there will be some rules of engagement when it happens. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold and what will happen in that particular situation when the day comes. But however, for now, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold and uh, we watch. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this particular news story, as it were. Please drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones. 
so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.